If you want smooth slow motion and aren't using these settings, then guys, your footage is gonna look stuttery and have this weird ghosting effect. And let's be honest, nobody likes that at all. So my name is Billy Ripka and I'm here to save you time and make your videos better. Also, every transition and their sound effect is from our newest time-saving seamless transition pack. So whether you wanna support us and what we're doing or just get a dope seamless transition pack, click the link down below and check that out today. Let's get into it. Now in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing we have to do is actually slow this footage down. And this clip is shot at 24 frames a second. So it's not like 60 frames or 180 frames a second. So to slow it down, we're gonna right click, go to retime controls right here, and then you'll see that these blue speed arrows pop up. And if I wanna slow it down, I just grab this top blue section right here and drag it down to 20% like this. Now, if I look at it, you can see it's literally just stuttering all over the place. We could fix that though, because you know, DaVinci Resolve got smart. So now in the inspector tab, all I'm gonna do is go down to retime and scaling, open that up, and then you have this option under retime process. So I'll click on that and I'll change it to optical flow. For those of you who don't have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, you won't be able to use this optical flow. However, I do have a solution for you. I promise I'm gonna show you in this video. So stay tuned for that. And then under motion estimation, I'm not gonna choose enhanced better, which I've told you to do a million times. I'm actually gonna choose speed warp. And that's because we wanna go for like super slow motion footage. And when we are doing that, we need to use speed warp because otherwise we're gonna get this weird ghosting effect and we don't want that. The thing with speed warp is that it is so intensive on your system. So it's gonna take a little bit to actually process all of this. One way we can speed that up is by right clicking, going to render in place, then let DaVinci Resolve do its thing. So now if I play this back, it actually looks like our footage was shot in 120 frames a second. And that's because of speed warp. Now, for those of you who are using the free version, you're not gonna have optical flow. But what we can do is instead of doing all of our changes on the edit tab, we're just gonna bring our clip back to 100% and make sure that any retime and scaling is just completely off. Then we're gonna go to Fusion. A little side note right here, we have some awesome 3D videos coming out soon. So if you're not yet, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on that. Trust me, this is gonna be dope. Anyway, inside of here, we're gonna hit Shift Spacebar and add in the Time Speed node right here. Then we're gonna add in an Optical Flow node and put it before our Time Speed node. So with Time Speed selected, we're gonna go to Interpolation Mode and change it from Blend to flow. Then our speed is one, or you could look at it as like 100%. So we need to bring it down to 0.2, which is gonna be 20% of speed. And then we're gonna turn on clamped edges like this. Now under the optical flow node, we can go under advanced. I'm gonna leave the warp count and iterations the same. And then under smoothness, I'll bring it up to about 20. Depending on your footage, you can mess with these settings. For now, I'm just gonna leave them. So now when I play this back, you can see that there is a little bit of warping and there is gonna be a little bit of ghosting. However, it's gonna look a lot better than if you just had not done it at all. Plus, you're using optical flow for free. Now, if your effects or projects are laggy, then click this video right here because I share with you four tricks that are guaranteed to speed everything up in DaVinci Resolve. Until the next one, peace.